Hey guys, so we're here at the airport traveling back to Dubai and I have my lovely travel companions Jonathan <laughs> and Jalen <laughs> When traveling with kids alone, it can be quite a hassle So in this video, I'll be sharing some of my hassle-free tips for when traveling with kids alone Make sure you watch to the end for all of these amazing tips. Tip number one, walk with enough snacks. Make sure they have snacks, maybe sandwiches, fruits, whatever they like. Make sure you walk with them and walk with more than enough because they, before they get to the plane, they start munching. Look at this. We're not even on the plane yet and they're eating away. So make sure you walk with enough snacks. That's the most important thing. <laughs> You see? <gasps> he said it. I didn't. Walk with snacks. When I'm traveling with the boys, I would pack all their snacks in a lunch bag and put it underneath the seat where I have easy access throughout the flight and it doesn't take up much space. Top two. Make sure you get your kids' favorite devices when they play a game because when they board the plane, they can't play games until the plane flies. There's a lot of different platforms where you can stream or download content. So prior to the flight, I just downloaded some of their favorite TV shows. Also, you can always download games for free. And this leads me perfectly into the other tip. Walk with headphones for your kids. Planes can get very loud and children tend to get frustrated if they cannot hear the show that they're watching or the game that they're playing. So walk with some headphones. And also we have to be mindful of the other passengers. We don't want our kids to be playing their devices so loud that it disturbs someone else. We are playing Monopoly. What happened? Ten million, Jillian. Give Jonathan ten million. Okay. That's what you promised. For real? <laughs> no, no, no. You can't take my property. Jillian, did you give Jonathan his ten million? No. Yeah. But he said just say no. <laughs> Jillian, drop her just say no on Jonathan. Tip three. Make sure you give yourself sufficient time to go through check-in and security because with kids, it can take a longer time. There might be meltdowns that you have to deal with, so make sure you give yourself sufficient time to go through the whole process without rushing. This next step, you better make your child comfortable on the flight. <laughs> so what he said is, make sure your children are comfortably dressed for the flight. No itchy material or no tight material. Let it be loose and comfortable and that is very important tip number five always 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 pack an extra set of clothes for the children accidents happen and you don't want your child to be stuck on the plane with wet or messed up clothes guys guys i just got beat from four years old i supposed to be a snail myself Vegetables. Yeah. Another tip, travel light. Check in as much bags as possible and only carry on what you have to the essentials. There's no guarantee that you'll get assistance, so always travel light. When the boys were younger and I had to travel alone with them, I always took a double stroller and everything else would fit underneath the compartment. So this is what I'm pushing around. Jonathan is sleeping, which is a problem. I can maneuver it with one hand, so it's okay so far, but it's a bit nerve wrecking. We'll see how everything goes. My final tip. When you are descending, sometimes the kids' ears start to bother them. What I've found that helped is having them to chew chewing gum or maybe suck on a candy. Or if they're nursing, you can give them some milk while the plane descends. I hope these tips help you have a hassle-free flight and if you have any more tips just leave it down in the comments below. Another video just popped up. Go ahead, click that one.